Bonjour, fellow creators. Today, we're going to take a slight turn from our usual podcast and start a series on finding creativity in movies. Join me as we explore the whimsical world of Midnight in Paris. This is episode 12. Welcome to the Design a Business You Love podcast, where we explore work anywhere strategies for artists, authors, and entrepreneurs. Here's your host, Kimberly Design Love. I will be attending a writer's conference in September of this year, 2023, called A Writing Room. And some of the authors who are speaking are Julia Cameron, Sark, Anne Lamont, Alex L., and Ryan Spear. Since this is time sensitive, I've created a link that is at KimberlyLoves.me forward slash writing retreat. If you hear this after the retreat takes place, I will have my notes from the retreat at this link. In mentally preparing for this retreat, I thought of an exercise in Julia Cameron's book, The Vein of Gold. It's called Favorite Films. In this exercise, Julia has you list your five favorite films. They can be from childhood. They can be good, bad, children's, adults, classic, vintage whatever you think of as your five favorite films. Since this is a podcast for artists, authors, and entrepreneurs, I'm going to select films that are creative in nature and more about art, authors, and entrepreneurs. Now, I may go beyond five films. We will explore these films, their similarities, and what we can learn from them as artists, authors, and entrepreneurs. Some of these films are not necessarily my favorites, but rather they do have the common denominator of sparking creativity. Picasso said, I put into my pictures everything I like. We will look at the characters and what we can glean from these films. Some of the films we're going to discuss are Midnight in Paris with Owen Wilson, Stranger Than Fiction with Emma Thompson, Nim's Island with Jodie Foster, Something's Gotta Give with Diane Keaton, and Frida with Selma Hayek. Let's start with Midnight in Paris. Today, we're embarking on a captivating journey into the realm of cinematic inspiration. Join me as we explore the whimsical world of Midnight in Paris and extract valuable insights for artists, authors, and entrepreneurs like you. Let's step into the magical streets of Paris, guided by the brilliance of Woody Allen's film, This cinematic masterpiece follows the adventures of Gil Pender, a writer played by Owen Wilson, who finds himself transported back in time to Paris in the 1920s, a time he romanticizes as the golden era of creativity. Personally, I'm not really uh, crazy about Woody Allen's actions in real life, but I really loved this movie. And I often find Owen Wilson to be a bit, uh, I don't know, obnoxious. But I actually loved him in this movie as well. So setting all that aside, let's jump back in. We begin in Monet's garden. One of the most enchanting moments takes place in Claude Monet's garden in Giverny. As Gil and Ines walk through the vibrant garden, surrounded by water lilies and blooming flowers, The scene evokes the essence of impressionistic art. It's a place where nature itself becomes an artist's canvas, inspiring creators to capture its beauty on paper and canvas. Yet the characters, Gil and Ennis, don't seem to be able to enjoy this moment. One of the film's most visual delights is the scene where Gil and Ennis visit Monet's garden. It's a true paradise for artists. While I haven't personally been to Paris, I have had the privilege of standing before Claude Monet's water lily paintings in person. The way they capture tranquility and nature's beauty is truly mesmerizing. Imagine wandering through the very gardens that inspired Monet's masterpieces. It's a haven where creativity and serenity intertwine. Next, we are strolling through the 1920s cafes. 
we are transported to the heart of 1920s Paris. The film introduces us to the legendary cafes of that era, served as intellectual and artistic hubs, where luminaries like Hemingway, Picasso, and Fitzgerald gathered. These spaces breathed creativity and dialogue, where ideas flowed as freely as the coffee. Paris is definitely a city of inspiration. Midnight in Paris wouldn't be complete without the city itself. Paris is the eternal muse. The film showcases iconic landmarks such as the Eiffel Tower, the Seine River, and the cobblestone streets of Montmartre. Paris, with its timeless elegance and artistic ambiance, is not just a backdrop, but a character that fuels the imagination. So Gil Pender serves as a reflection of the creative mind, a writer who longs for a time when inspiration flowed freely, believing it was more splendid in the past. His journey teaches us that while the past can inspire us, it's in embracing the present that we can truly unleash our creative potential. Midnight in Paris not only captures the essence of creativity, but it also celebrates the allure of iconic locations in Paris, from the charming streets of Montmartre to the splendor of Versailles. The film intertwines the city's enchanting backdrops with Gill's journey of self-discovery. Some of my creative lessons learned from Midnight in Paris were, number one, we must embrace the nostalgia and the present. Gill's time travel escapades remind us to honor the past while cherishing the present. Gill's encounters with historical figures reminds us that inspiration is not confined to the past. It's present in the world around us, waiting to be discovered through interactions, nature, and everyday experience. Embrace the present moment. Just as Gill learns to appreciate his own era, remember that the present holds its own magic. Embrace the now, as it's where your creativity flourishes and opportunities arise. Number two, we should seek inspiration in gathering places. The film's cafes are hubs of creativity. They teach us to seek inspiration in shared spaces, connect with fellow creators, exchange ideas, and let the energy of collaboration ignite your own imaginative spark. The great French artists were known to gather for lunch, and they often painted these scenes. 3. Merge your imagination with reality. In the film, reality and fantasy blend seamlessly. Use your imagination to infuse your creative work with wonder while grounding it in authenticity. Envelop yourself in beauty. The film's portrayal of Paris underscores the impact of beauty on creativity. Surround yourself with art, nature, and captivating locales that elevate your senses and fuel your artistic endeavors. Something that I will do when I am unable to get to an art gallery or out in nature is to turn on YouTube videos with impressionistic art and leave it as a backdrop to my day. And lastly, we must cherish our present connections. Midnight in Paris whispers the importance of enjoying the current moment with those around us, forging connections and engaging in meaningful conversations, cultivating relationships that fuel your creative journey. This movie is like a love letter to creativity. Midnight in Paris is a cinematic love letter to creativity, capturing the beauty of imagination, nostalgia, and the magic of Paris itself. As creators, we can learn from Gil Pender's journey and apply these insights to our own artistic endeavors. In closing, as you immerse yourself in creative pursuits, may you find inspiration in the beauty of your surroundings. Appreciate the present moment and infuse your work with the allure of your unique imagination. Thank you for joining me on this extraordinary journey through the enchanting world of Midnight in Paris.
Thanks for joining us on today's episode of the Design a Business You Love podcast. If you enjoyed listening, please click the subscribe or follow button on your favorite podcast player. Until next time, keep dreaming, keep creating, and keep designing a business that you love.